All right, let's. I'm gonna try this Cashalot game. Do I have a submarine? Do I have Cashalot? Yeah. I haven't played a submarine in so long. I have not played a submarine in so long. Let's do it. Do I, is this like a test captain? Maybe I should send you. Yeah, let's send you down to Cashalot. You just just go go back to reserve. Yeah. Where's one of my? There we go. Come here, you. Uh, Sean, I'm glad you are, man. I cannot get a decent game in that ship to save my life. It, it's it's it it it's it's become honestly for me it's become a running joke. I've been playing that ship for the better part of a week, off and on, just trying to get a decent game. Nope, not a thing. You did not, Big Turp. You did not. <sighs> Five percent torpedo speed. No, I don't think that's necessary. I think eighty-two knots is plenty. So we'll go dive capacity. Remember, guys, when it comes to mid-tier, mid-tier, uh, when it comes to submarines, I have no idea what I'm doing. So, um, just, uh, just, just run with it. Actually, you know what? Forty seconds or forty percent bonus on fifteen seconds is. Six more seconds. That's 20 seconds. That could be nice. Let's do it. Come on. This might be the wrong pick for this, but I'm going to try it anyway. All right. Uh, can we can we can take flags, right? Yeah. Camel won't do me any good, but screw it. Actually, now there's no point in putting camel on this thing. And then um, some flags. What's my speed underwater? At least I'm slow underwater. I should be slow underwater. All right, now how does this work now? I have two different consumables. Hydrophone highlights surface ships. Submarine surveillance highlights submerged ships. Okay, that's really important now. Now, what are my skills? I've gone flooding. I've gone faster prep time on consumables. Faster torpedo reload. Module maintenance. Extra charges of things. Kruzos, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, increase of underwater running speed if less than 50% of the maximum. Okay, so I'm faster underwater when my battery's below half. Okay. Dive capacity recharge rate increases on the surface when... Okay, so again, if I'm under half, it'll recharge faster. Okay, and then this is adrenaline rush. All right. That seems reasonable. And then... Okay. All right. We'll just... Uh, we'll go try it. Let's go do this. Submarines, ladies and gentlemen. I remember when I was... There was a time I was excited for them to do this. There was a time that I was like, ah, they'll get this right. They'll be fun. I love submarines. I'm a huge... Sub yes, I'm a huge submarine nerd. I got books all over my shelf about World War II submariners. You know? I grew up reading about Red Ramage and Dick O'Kane and Mush Morton. What was the... Oh, and... Um, Who wrote, who wrote Thunder Below? Damn it. Well, I keep wanting to say Ed Beach, and it's not Ed Beach. It's um, Gene Flucky. Uh, you know, I, I read about these guys and the Medal of Honor winners, you know? It's just like, oh, I was I was so enamored of the whole the whole Silent Service. I played the hell out of Silent Service 2 as a kid. Uh, Silent Hunter 4 when I was in college. And I saw they were sitting there like, Oh, we're gonna add submarines. I was like, "All right, well, this will be interesting." And now here we are. And I'm like, "Yeah, no, nah, you've kind of you've kind of ruined it." Welcome to Jurassic Park. All right, Lord Enchu. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. All right, so I'm not very stealthy against a destroyer. 
against any or another submarine. Against anything else, I'm actually quite stealthy. All right, now C. I only have two and a half minutes to say submerged. Wow, they've grossly, they have really changed the. Um, they have really changed the mechanics of dive. Two and a half minutes, that's barely anything. I remember some of these subs used to have, like, be able to stay down for, like, six minutes. Welcome. Only three minutes of submerged capacity? No wonder subs are getting smashed. That's crazy. And the submarine surveillance consumable starts on cooldown. Why? Why does it start on cooldown? That's so strange. They've done some weird things to this class when I wasn't looking, clearly. So, there's things I like about that, right? I like... So, submarines in warships need to be forced to surface to recharge from time to time. You shouldn't be able to stay down half the game. And under the old system, you could. So, I'm okay with this. It makes, it makes choosing the right board position and not being stupidly over-aggressive very, very important. So I'm okay with that. I actually like that quite a bit. Like, I'm, I'm not... There's no way I'm going into this cap circle. Like, that is not a thing that's going to happen right now. I'll get out and do some spotting. We're going to get all the way over to the, the two or the three line here before I start trying to angle for shots and get into position for things. On the surface, this feels okay. I'm doing about 20-ish. I'm doing... I'm, I'm a little faster on the surface than I should be. But the submerged speed here at Tier 6 is about right. It's, what was it, 14 knots? That's a little high, but it's not outrageously high. Right? At Tier 10s, it's like, yikes. I saw some of the Tier 10 speeds, and I was like, what in that? What is that insanity? Capture area A, right. U69 outspots me quite a bit, sir. So I'm not in a huge rush to do that. I think I hit those too late. Stop exploding, you cowards! Well, I still managed to get one into New York. I'm a little surprised at that, if I'm honest. So I think I have to submerge to make this turn.
All right. Let's get back on the surface. Top off the batteries. I'm actually... This is better than I remember it being. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's better. I haven't seen one of their... Still haven't seen one of their submarines yet. I think I want to push up. Now that we've pushed them back and I'm confident that there's not a destroyer sub over here, I'm going to push into the cap and help this New York finish capping because he's dead. Is Byron moving up? Or is he reversing? I can't tell. He's moving up. He's moving up slow. Think this guy hates my guts yet? If he doesn't now, he will shortly. Oh, he's still got his damage control up. There we go. That ought to piss him off and get him, and get him dead. Come on, torpedoes. gonna die before my torpedoes get there probably six he has six hp love it oh i'm gonna crown myself like a dumbass well i kind of deserve to take some damage here <clears throat> i guess i should go to mid then and try to cap holy ship it is thursday what's up ladies and gentlemen this feels a little more interesting than it did before I'm, I'm kind of curious to try the tier 8 now. Um, I mean, it's not so interesting. I probably would play a lot of it, but is it at least different enough from Destroyers? I have different capabilities and different things going on. Now, one of the things that I've got to figure out... Refresh my memory here. Here we go. Home in an enemy ship. Hitting a highlighted sector for a second time increases the maneuverability. Okay. Okay. So I can't... I, there's no There's no opportunity for me to change torpedoes here, is there? No, I always have the acoustics. Yeah, it's what I have. I don't get a choice. Okay. I, okay, so starting at tier 8, you get the choice between the dumb fires and the acoustics. Is that what you're saying? That's what you're saying. Actually, let's, let's run to mid. Let's run to mid and cap. I'll let these guys deal with the Alba. I'll fire the butt torps and then try and uh, maybe ping him as I run. Okay, so they've done away with the whole thing where you had to hit the same sector. 
right? Like that was a thing where you had to hit the ship in the same place twice. Looks like they've done away, they've completely done away with that. So, Cash, I hear what you're saying, and I, I, I don't disagree with you. I will say I feel like mid-tier subs are not nearly as messed up as high-tier subs, right? High-tier subs, to me, whenever I fight against them, still feel really effed up, right? Like, what is happening here? Mid-tier subs have never felt that way to me. The mid-tier submarines have never felt that uh, that bad to me. They still have two submarines in the game. I don't even know where this U-69 is. He's not in the middle of the board. I've barely spent any time submerged. I have a uh, Adeldrell at one point. I did submerge because I turned. Remember, I was torpedoing the, Nor the New York, and I wanted to turn in front of him, and I didn't want to get spotted. So I, I, do I dove for a little bit. But I have spent almost no time below the surface. I could have been playing a destroyer. You're going to go harass this Fuso. It's basically like free damage. Oh, look who I found. I'm such a jerk. <laughs> wow. All right, let's get up here and see if we can find this other submarine. I'm genuinely curious a little bit about sub versus sub combat. Uh, let me try and find him. Uh, where's my sub? It's Y. There he is. Well, he's dead. No point staying below the surface now. Nicholas took care of it. Um, it did feel... It, I, I do feel a little bit like I need a shower there, Gailron. It, uh, it definitely feels that way, yes. This guy. I don't think I can ping him through the through the hull of the uh, dead ship. A crowbar would come in handy right about now.
Welcome to Jurassic Park. He's still going to take two of them. <laughs> what in the hell? This is rude. Well, remember, remember, Stampy, I don't want to get spotted. Like, that's the whole point is to not get spotted. You're a submarine. Con consider that I have not been spotted once this entire game. Not once. No one has ever seen me. I'm probably not going to get to probably not going to get to do much to the Kiwi here. I'm going to pump out torps and try and land a ping here as he as he sails through, as she sails through the gap. Oh, right, he's got his little thing ticking, so those are probably all going to miss. Okay, yeah, yeah. Still didn't get spotted, but I finally got hit by something. This is going to fuck up my hair. If I time these right, I can I can get a Kraken. Nope, game's over. Um I think Gilron, I I think Gilron, that's a nice summary. I think I think low floor, high ceiling is kind of the way. Um I remember in previous iterations of submarines. I never felt like I felt like there was just there were too many bizarro mechanics. This at least is starting to feel better, at least at tier six to get a basic understanding of how the class functions. I think like carriers, I think six is the right place. At tier six, you have apparently you only have the acoustic torpedoes. They don't hit that hard. They hit decently. Um, they explain to you what the sonar pings do. Um, there's enough play in the firing gap, uh, enough um, spread. What's the word I'm looking for? Dispersion. There's enough dispersion in your little torpedo arc that you can't necessarily just vomit them out in a straight line. The conga line torps, right? Like you see out of British destroyers. Um, and reliably land a ton of hits. Three minutes submerged is not a lot. That game, I was really benefited by the fact there was only one destroyer on the opposing team, and he was way on the other side of the map for me. If there's a destroyer in that cap in front of me, that changes, that plays very differently. Um, how so, classic? Not, not that I just necessarily disagree with you, but I'm, I want to hear your, I want to hear your theory. I still think they had an AFK sub the entire game. No. Okay, he was here. Okay, so this guy we saw, this guy we never even saw once. Poor surface ship players will be more frustrated. Okay. All right. Um, right. I've got some more requests in the queue. I don't want to leave them behind. But that is an interesting experiment. I think I need to come back to submarines again now. Now that it feels like they've honed the mechanics in enough, I feel like it's time to give them an honest evaluation. Um... Based on that game, uh, it still feels kind of dirty. It feels like somebody with good... No, 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 no. A good grasp on game mechanics and positioning and everything can really abuse the class. Like, 
really abuse it because you can just like, oh, there's nobody around to spot me. Dive. LOL, LOL, good luck, right? Um, hmm. I think classic, I, classic, I think, I think I understand what your point is, and I think I agree with you, is that in the hands of an experienced player, let's, if you're an experienced battleship player, the tactics and, and management of a submarine is not going to come intuitively to you. However, if you're an experienced destroyer player, this is not that far off, right? This is a sidestep as opposed to a giant leap. And I feel like an experienced destroyer player can probably really wreak havoc with one of these. Now, I've had games where I have put myself in terrible positions early and gotten dumpstered. And I think that can still happen if you're not paying attention or you don't play well. Um, maybe, Hetman. Maybe. Um, I, I, I agree with Castle on this one. I feel like the homing pings are kind of silly. You know, acoustic homing torpedoes were not really a thing in the Second World War. I mean, they kind of were, but they kind of weren't. The American fleet boats in the Pacific never really fired in any but dumb-fired dumb torpedoes, right? Hot, straight, and normal. That was the term for a reason. Um, the Germans, if memory serves, did mess around with acoustic homing torps. Never really perfected it, um, but but had a little, bit of, a little bit of success with it, a little bit of progress, right? Okay, so here at Tier 8, you now get the alternative torpedo. It's slower... It's less range, it's less detectable, but it hits harder. Okay, that's interesting. 